So I met my male cousin after a while. He is in high school and I was in for the shock of my life when I met him recently because that boy who had been shorter than me my entire life had suddenly shot up in height. He even had some sort of a mustache or some facial hair. All these changes that occur in your body around this age like the prominence of your Adam's apple or a change in voice in males is due to the onset of puberty and it all happens because of specific hormones secreted by structures like the testes in males and ovaries in females now this doesn't mean that these hormones are secreted only at puberty you have these hormones throughout your life it's just their level increases at the onset of puberty which is what leads to these characters appearing at the onset of puberty these characters which are known as secondary sexual characteristics these are just one function of these hormones that's what we're going to be talking about in this video we're going to talk about the testes the hormones produced by the testes their structures and their functions we're going to split it in two and in the second video we're going to talk about the ovaries in females the structure and the hormones produced by the ovaries and their function so let's first start with the hormones produced by the testes they are known as androgens and one of the most common androgens that you would have heard a lot is the hormone known as testosterone now these androgens and all the sex hormones in fact are sterol hormones which means that they are made up of four fused rings 1 2 3 4 this is a common structure of all sterols and testosterone is also a sterol which means that it is derived from cholesterol Now testosterone is a major androgen there are other androgens as well i'll talk about that in just a while so where are these androgens produced in males so androgens are the male sex hormones that are secreted primarily in the testes now the testes is the structure that is located inside the scrotum this is the testis and this is the epididymis and this is the vas deferens so testosterone is majorly secreted by the testis the adrenal glands also secrete some amounts of testosterone and so do the ovaries yes testosterone is produced in females as well and so are the female sex hormones like estrogen and progesterone they are also produced in males but in lower quantities the androgens are secreted at in high quantities in males and the most common types of androgens like i said include testosterone and this huge difficult to produce hormone called androstenedione now where exactly in the testes are these androgens produced now the testes has different types of cells like the leydig cells the serratoli cells and the developing spermatocytes which are the developing male gametes now in the testis it is the leydig cells that secretes all type of androgens in the male body and if you take a look at the structure of the leydig cells anatomically they have more smooth endoplasmic reticulum or ser compared to rough endoplasmic reticulum can you think of a reason why this would be so If you haven't guessed it already, I will tell the answer at the end of this video. So, what does testosterone do in the male body? So, so like I said, testosterone and androgens are not secreted only at the onset of puberty. They are secreted in low quantities from birth. In fact, for the in utero masculinization of the fetus, for the development of male characteristics in the fetus itself, the presence of androgens is needed in the fetus. So, they play a variety of roles in our body even before the onset of puberty. Like they are involved in the growth of muscles, the growth of bones. They are involved in metabolism. bolism and many other functions at the onset of puberty that's when their levels begin to increase in the male body and at that time because of the high levels of these androgens that causes the production maturation and release of the sperm cells i told you about spermatocytes right which are the early sperm cells that are present inside the testis so these spermatocytes begin to mature and finally develop into mature sperm this developmental process entirely is governed by these androgens androgens are also involved in the development of accessory organs for the healthy production of sperm not just spermatocytes but you need input from other organs like the prostate gland the seminal vesicle epididymis and a lot of other male accessory organs so the androgens are also involved in the development of those organs 
the development of secondary sexual characteristics like i mentioned the facial hair growth the voice changing the protrusion of the adam's apple the increase in height the increase in muscle mass especially during puberty all those secondary sexual characteristics are caused by the increased level of androgens in our body so these are some of the functions of androgens now you have to remember that they are not secreted only during puberty they are produced at low levels even before puberty it's just that at puberty their levels begin to increase in the body which is what causes the onset of puberty now i asked a question before why do ladig cells have a lot of smooth endoplasmic reticulum if you think about the function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum they are involved in the production of lipids in our cells right and cholesterol is a type of lipid so to produce testosterone and other androgens you need cholesterol and to produce more cholesterol you need more scr so that is why the ladig cells and the cells of the ovaries as well they have a lot of smooth endoplasmic reticulum so that they can synthesize a lot of lipids like cholesterol which can then be used to produce the sex hormones like testosterone we'll end the video right here and we'll pick up exactly where we left off when we're talking about the female sex hormones secreted by the ovaries